All right, the quick speed shop S10 is broke. It's a nice day out here, but I had a little trouble with the audio on the video, so I'm recording narr narration over this later. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I had a rotted out fuel line, which broke off. I'm going to show you what I did to fix it. There's butchery involved. This ain't the best repair, but it's a winter truck, and it's what I need to make happen. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And follow along, we'll fix it up nice. Here we go. So the fuel lines broke off, so I got to get in here and I'll show you what we're going to do. Here's the end of the fitting. You can see the steel broke off right flush of the plastic, and I uh, ended up snapping the end of the fuel fitting off, trying to hold on to the pliers, and it turned into a fiasco. So now I'm stuck. I can't get the bed off the truck because the bolts are all rotted out. I got new repair lines here. I got a, th a fuel filter. I got this hose we might be able to do something with. But the next step is going to be um, taking the air chisel and cutting a hole in this bed. I mean, this thing's shot. It's all rotted out along here and over there and uh, in the front. You know, there's holes. I'll show you what I did over here. This, this brace is gone, so I, I had a hard time getting my head in here. So I just went and I bent the side of the box out so I can get my head in there to get to the line and get my hands in there. And I'll just bend it back and I'm done. The thing flaps in the breeze anyway, so who cares. But here we are. Let me get the uh, the air chisel. Bam! Get that. Watch this. Here we go. the hole let me get down in there and uh, I can see everything real well now um, this fuel line I got let's take the original line off here first pull that up out of there and get my hands down in there ah! Ah! come on the clips kind of stuck uh, okay here we go got it ha check that out and uh, I don't think the other line I got here is gonna work because of the way the tank bends around the short piece is kind of straight. It's not going to work. So I think I have another line up in the attic of the garage. Let me climb on out of here and go. Aha! I just happened to have one in stock right up in the attic. I couldn't remember that I did, but I went up there and I found one. So that worked out good. Let's go ahead and I'll stick it back down here in the hole. And uh, put it, oh, there we go. Put it right back down here. Put it on the, uh, the fuel sending unit. Bam, there we go. All right, I'm going to close the hole in the floor up. Just bend this down here. Ah, oh, here on. There we go. Kick it down there nice and fit it. Bam. No bill if you know we're in the truck. We'll throw the bed liner back in here in a minute. The thing will be good as new. That's awesome. All right, let's go get back at it. And we'll go under the truck and uh, we'll go and make the fuel line down there and we'll get back on it. Thumbs up. All right, so let's bend up the hard line here. We've got the plastic line on. I got my bender here. I got the uh, 3 8 line. This is from the plastic line on the tank going forward. And I just throw it in the bender here on the 3 8 spot. And I just want to put a, like a 45 degree kick to match up the one here. I got the piece on the ground. We'll just go ahead and put a little tweak in this and match it up. Kind of right about here. Kink. How's that look? That looks pretty good. A little bit more. That ought to work. Pull it out of there. Nice. And it kind of lays up in here in the frame. Now here's the uh, the rest of the setup. I got the new fuel filter. Take the straight line here and thread it into the back of the filter. And uh, thread that in. Then we can go ahead and get under the truck and see how this is going to lay out. Uh, you can see 
Uh, this line's gonna have a couple bends in it, and then this rear piece will hook together with a little piece of high pressure uh, fuel pressure fuel line hose, just like this, and the whole thing will go up under the truck, just like factory, you know. So here we are under the truck, fed the rear of the line from the tank back. We're just getting an eyeball on this. I'm gonna go ahead and see how it goes up on the frame. Make sure we got a good enough spot, and then you can see the old rotted lines and the old fuel filter there. Um, by my hand, so I want to have the joint where I can get at it. So let's go ahead and here's the, the new fuel filler line. You can see that the filter and the line is longer than it needs to be, so I'm going to have to trim it down. But uh, I like to leave the rubber where I can see it in front of the tank to make it a little bit easier. But if not, I can put the whole thing together in one piece and slide it in there. It doesn't really matter. But this end's got a nipple on it which will help hold the ho hold the hose. So I want to try to keep that intact. I want to trim the rear line. So I guess the first thing I could do is we'll get the uh, fuel filler out of the old original fuel filter out of here. And then I can lay the new one, do a couple of bends to try to match it and get the new one in there. So uh, maybe I'll bend up the line first and then we'll take the old line out. So. I'll do the first 90 degree bend right after the fuel filter. Here we'll put that bend in. This line's also 3 8 obviously because it's the same same size line, but go ahead and put this first bend in here. That's 90. And then uh, I'm going to hold it up and see how it looks and then put the second 90 in it. This will match the kick in the frame of the of the original style line. We'll go ahead and do that. That looks pretty good. And just a little bit more here. Yeah, it looks good. So, go ahead and hold it up and see how it looks. Put a little bit of tweak action in it here on the custom knee bend. Right there, bam! Looks good. So, let me get the old fuel filter out. The bolt was real rusty on the bracket, so I got a little uh, hacksaw blade. I'm just going to cut the plastic bracket that holds it in. And uh, slip it out, and I'll just zip tie the thing back together because this is a winter rat truck, and it's good enough. So there we go. Got the old fuel filter out. Dumped the gas out of it. Now I can take the new line, and uh, you can see a little slot there. I'll take the new line to hold it up in. And now I'm just going to go measure my overlap and how much I got to trim off. Get these up laid up in here, how they're going to be, and then uh, I'll trim the line. I'll put it together on the bench. And then we'll slide the whole thing into the truck. And uh, I think I'm going to, I think it's like about four inches I had to trim off. I didn't have a pencil, so I'm going to use this blade. I'm just going to put a little mark on the line here. And then I'll measure back. And I'll go inside. I'll use a tubing cutter, and I'll cut it off. Pull this out and uh, go inside. And uh... All right, got the line all cut and trimmed and put together with a hose. I did it on the bench. Got three uh, fuel injection clamps on here, so I'll go ahead and slide it into the frame. And the, uh, slide the fuel filter up into the, the harness here, or the bracket. Just like that. Go ahead and get the uh, get it lined up. Take the plastic line here in the front and click that back on. It just goes a uh, little plastic clip and an O-ring. It just goes click right on there like that. And then... Uh, that's nice and secure. Go ahead and get the back line put together here. This goes the same way, just clicks on. And uh, grab some zip ties. I'm just going to zip tie this whole mess together because the, uh, the return line is pretty rusty, but it was zip. It was, I had this all zip tied together before, so I'm just going to go ahead and zip tie it together again. It holds the lines in place good enough for uh, what it is. So we'll go ahead and throw a couple zip ties on here. Put one in the back, I guess, here. Just keep it all snug so it doesn't flop around and rattle. This ought to work pretty good. Two in the front, one in the back. Uh, grab the uh, pliers here and trim off the tails. Bink! 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 There we go. So now I gotta flatten the box back out. Go just go ahead here and uh, give it a little push back in place. Just kind of sword lock it back in. Watch your fingers; you don't get them pinched between the cab and the box. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. Give it the wobble test. Yeah, it looks good. It matches the uh, the wobble I got behind the wheel here. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, I think we're all ready to set the truck down and go ahead and put the bed liner back in. covered up the fuel pump hole it looks great it's gonna work awesome new lines fantastic butcher repair job all right so there we go a butcher repair job on an s10 winter truck but we got it done I got my uh, new parts installed the trucks back on the road for less than twenty dollars and I could have bought a repair line from the new auto parts store for over 100 but it saves some cash and if you like stuff like this please subscribe hit the like button thumbs up we got lots of new projects coming out at the quick speed shop and uh, thanks for watching